Hey folks, Dave back here in Studio B, and uh, tonight I'm trying something a little different here. As you know, I've been playing Inside the Cup Golf, the PC version of the game. Well, uh, the cards uh, are included in the game, I mean the card images are included in the game, and also the, um, the course image. And what that allows you to do, I mean, you have to kind of extract them from the game, but you, it allows you to actually play um, uh, hole by hole here. Uh, so, uh, so in other words, you have the cards in the game. You just got to, you know, they're not printed or anything like that. So anyway, this is what I did. So I just took a screenshot and printed them out. So I have uh, four cards here that I printed out. I'm going to play hole by hole. And just kind of kicking this around and seeing how this looks. Uh, and uh, I was having some fun with it, you know. Uh, the, the game itself, the PC game itself, is fine. However, you can't do hole by hole. It's always shot by shot. You can sim the whole tournament, but you can't, you can't like, sim around and then play. It's, it's like you sim the whole thing or you play shot by shot. So there's nothing in between with the PC game. However, um, I, you know, if you get the card images out of the game, then you can play uh, hole by hole and, and I think even round by round. As Brandon Baker shows up here. Thanks, Brandon, for coming in tonight. And I'm just kind of kicking this around, having some fun. Uh, and so what I did is uh, I have, um, well, let me just move this out of the way. There we go. So I have um, four golfers here from the 2006 set that I printed out. I, I didn't put Tiger in because Tiger would just destroy these guys. So I just I wanted to have something somewhat close. So I'm playing Augusta, and I'll show you how the um, the hole by hole works on here. And it's kind of fun actually. I've been enjoying. It. So each golfer has a rating on the par threes, fours, and fives, which are the pars for golf. You roll this white dice here, 1 to 20, okay? That will give you a rating somewhere between plus 1 and minus 4, okay? It's not a very big rating, but there is a rating. And so what you do then is you subtract the... That will give you a modification, and you subtract that from the black die, which is red just like you see it. That's an 85, and so the black die, it's it's a 20 and a 10. So this can be anywhere from uh, 10 to 209 is, is, is as big as you can get. So that would be a 90. This would be a 56. This would be a 62. This would be a 145. So if you can follow me on that. So if you roll the 20 and a 9, that's the biggest you can get. That's a 209. And if you roll the 1 and a 0, that would be a 10. So it's 10 to 209 is how it is. The yellow die comes into play. If you uh, you get a a triple bogey, okay. So if you get a triple bogey and this is a zero, <laughs> you keep rolling and you keep adding strokes. So if you were to, if you were to roll a like a, you probably have to roll a two oh nine is what you'd have to roll to get a to get something besides a double bogey. But if you happen to roll a two oh nine and that yellow die was a zero, that's that's a quadruple bogey and you keep rolling until this. Doesn't you keep rolling? If that's another zero, then you, it's another stroke. You know, so you got to keep rolling until you don't get any zeros on the yellow die. It's rare, but it can happen. So let, let's play along here, hole by hole, and let, let's see how we do here. I think I got my Excel sheet set up here. Uh, I, I was playing all night with this set, and then I'm trying to make it look good. So let's see how it plays out. Just having some fun here late night before I crash. Hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy this video here. Okay, so this is Inside the Cup Golf. This is a cards and dice version of this here. And again, I have the PC version, but the cards are in the game. So I just took a screenshot of the cards, and I'm playing them here. Because you can't play hole by hole in the PC game. That's all. That's why. So this is just a fun test. All righty. So now... Uh, so I'm going to roll for Furic first. Again, we're going to look at this white die here to see what kind of modification. So this is going to be Augusta here. We're, we're teeing off at uh, hole number one here, the par four, 445 yards. This will play today. And Furic will tee off first. All right, so he's got a 13. Now, white die, higher is better on the white die, lower is better on the black die. So this is not looking good for him right now. So if he's got a par four 13, uh, oh, no, he will subtract two, though, so that's not too bad. So this 196, which is bad, um, that would have been a bogey, and it still might be because we need to get 139 or better. This is the uh, the second hardest. Is it the second easiest? The se actually, this is the second easiest hole on the course is this par four right here. So the 13 
if I look at his card, I'm not going to show you his card, but his card says here I subtract 2, so that 1-9 comes a 1-7. So that's a 176. That will still be a bogey here because it's not a 139. So it's between 139 and 199. So uh, uh, so this here will be a, a bogey for him. So he will tee off here, and that's not a good roll at all for him. And he will get a 5 here. So he is uh, 5 right now, and he is plus 1 on the day right now. So that was not good for Furyk. Uh, I'm, I'm not rolling on the table. I'm using the ball roller here, but I, I could roll on my table. I just You need um, uh, a 20-sided white, a 20-sided black, a 10-sided black, and a 10-sided yellow is all you need to roll this game. And, and it comes out pretty good here. Um, in fact, that's what you need for the regular game too. So they modified this for hole by hole. All right, so let's go Ernie L's now. He will tee off here on the par four as we kick things off here. A 14 for L's. And that will be a minus one adjustment. So, ooh, ooh, so this. Okay, you need a 139. I got a 140, but I'm subtracting one from this. So that's a 130. So that'll drop that into a par. So Ernie L's, because of the modification here on the par four, will get a 130, and that will be a par. So Ernie L's will pick up a four. And he'll be even par in this one here. So good start for Els. Paul Azinger now. He will roll the dice. And a 7 is going to be no modification. So, oh, but a 40 is good. Oh, though. I didn't get the birdie, though. A 40 will be a par. So 139 or less. I needed a 22 for a birdie here. So I got the 40. So that will be a par. And so he'll remain even as well. Um... Yeah, that, oh, oh, can you know, oh, damn it, damn it, you know what, okay, I know what I didn't do, hang on one second, I'm not showing the ball roller, that's what I'm not doing here, thanks for pointing that out, uh, let's go to a, um, a uh, window capture, add source, ball roller, okay, I'm sorry about that, there we go, I, um, I originally had was capturing the screen, and then I decided to change that. So is that any better? Can you see the ball rolling out? That's my bad. Good, good catch on that, Brandon. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Wrestling, too. Thanks for coming in. Hopefully now you can see the uh, the ball roller app on there. Usually I capture the whole screen. Now this time, however, I was just capturing Excel, and I forgot the ball roller on there. So um, I could roll my own dice, but I'm just going to use the ball roller here. So so now, now that we have that squared away, that's a good catch. So now you'll be able to see my rolls. <laughs> Stupid Dave. <laughs> I was looking at the screen. Yeah, I didn't pick up on that. All righty. So now Phil Mickelson will come up here and roll. And again, I get my white die. It's a 20-sided die. Then I have a 20-sided black and a 10-sided black. And then my yellow, which is 10-sided, that comes into play if things go disastrous. So here we go. All righty. So now we get to see the dice roll here. So here we go. So Mickelson now. We want the white die to be high and it's to be low, and that's what we got. So a 13 for Mickelson is going to be a minus one. Ooh. Oh, man. I needed a 22, and that, because I subtract one, it's a 25. So Mickelson just misses the birdie. He will pick up the four par as well. And so after one hole here, um, Els, Azinger, and Mickelson will lead it by one over Furyk. As uh, Dave Little shows up in here as we're playing a little bit of golf tonight. This is inside the cup. I've kind of modified the PZ ver PC version to play the cards and dice version, as I explained. And uh, now that I have my ball roller on the screen now, I do apologize for that. Uh, I'm kind of a dummy. So hopefully you can see all the dice rolls now. Okay, so let's let's go here. So I'm going to have... Um, well, Furyk is uh, the worst one here, so he's going to go last. So we'll, start, we'll, st we'll go from the bottom up. We're going to start in Mickelson this time. All right, John Wise shows up here at Augusta. It's, it's a little test um, thing I'm doing here. All right, so Mickelson's going to roll again high on the white and low on the black. So we're on hole two right now. This is a par five right now. So for a birdie, we need 93 or less. Ooh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good right here. So 93, so he's going to get it. So Mickelson on a par five. Uh, there's no adjustment with the white die, so we get a 69, and a 69 will be good enough for the bird. So Mickelson will tap in for the bird here, and he'll go to minus one here after the hole two. So now it's going to be Azinger, Paul Azinger. He's going to tee off here on the par five. And foo, what do we got here? Eight. Uh, that's going to be no adjustment on the white and an 86. And that will be a birdie as well. So, again, 93 or less, and we pick up the bird here. So, 
Uh, 14 or less is an eagle, actually. So on the 575, so Azinger, he will pick up the bird as well, and he'll go to minus one. And I'm going a little slow right now as I explain, and I'll try to pick up the, the pace as we get going. So Ernie Els is even on the day as well. So Ernie Els will roll the dice. And Ernie Els gets a 14 on a par five. So that'll ooh, that'll bring it down two. Oh, but a 159, that's, that's not good. So this turns into a 139, and a 139 will be a par. So Els will come out of this with a par, and he'll remain even on the day. So let's go to Jim Furyk now. And actually, um, I, I just played a round-by-round -round tournament, and Jim Furyk kicked everybody's butt. I think he was minus eight, and he won it, clearly won it by six or seven shots. All righty, so Furyk now, he's going to tee off here on the par five. And, oh, he got all of that one. Furyk, wowzers. We're going to subtract two, but, oh, the 145, that's a killer. One, so that's going to subtract two. It's going to be a 125, and that'll be good for a par. Again, he needed 192 for a par and 93 for a birdie, so he'll get the par. So he will stay at one over. So uh, there we go. After two holes here, so Mickelson is minus one. Azinger is minus one, Els is even, and Furyk is one over. So I think that's how we got it here. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to start at the bottom again because this is how we played it out. So we're going to start with Mickelson again, and we're going to go to the third hole. This is going to be a par four, 350 yards. Uh, somewhat an easy hole, I think. So we need a 163 or less for a par, 40 or less for a birdie. So this is going to be tough to get a birdie here. We need a 40 or less. So let's roll the dice now. Mickelson on a par four. And there's no adjustment, and so that's going to be a straight 87, and he will just get a par on this one here on the par 3. So he will pick up par, so Mickelson will just tap that in, and he'll get par, and he'll remain at 1 under. So now Paul Azinger will tee off, and a 6. That will be no adjustment on the par 4. Ooh, 208. Oh, man, he almost ran into disaster here. Oh, man, this. oh, it is disaster. That's a double he gets a, ooh, remember, 209 is the worst. That's when you get into some serious trouble. So here on the par 4, 350 yards, a 208 is a double bogey for Azinger. So he throws a 6 on this one, and he will go drop back to 1 over here. Wow, the disastrous hole for Azinger with the 208. And here we go now with Ernie Els, who's even, even Steven here. Els, a 7. And that will be no adjustment on the black die. So a 35, that'll get him the bird. 40 or less. So Ernie Ells coming back in here. He will he will make that nice long putt here. And he will put that in for the birdie. So he will get a three on this one. And now he'll drop back to minus one as well. So he's tied with Mickelson. So it's going to be Furick now, who's one over after he uh he did the the bogey here on two. So let's see what Furyk can do. Furyk is a 5, so that's going to be no adjustment. Oh, 191 is terrible. 191, and he's going to bogey this one in here. Yep, that's 204 or less. That's a bogey. So he will bogey this one as well, and he will now go to 2 over. And Jim Furyk, who did well early in the day for me, is now falling apart. So it's... Uh, Els and Mickelson now. Asinger with that double right here. That's a killer, that six. So Mickelson will, will tee this one off here. Oh, actually, no. Els will go first because he got the three, right? So we, we start with the lowest one. So Els has the honor. So we're going to start with Ernie Els. See if I can keep all this straight. So here comes Els now. Par three, 240. You know, these 240s, I've, I've played golf. I can't hit a 240, at least not straight. So when every time I come up on a par three that was like, over 220 yards. I'm like, why is this a par three? I'll never get on the green in one. That's nuts. But like, these are professionals. These are professionals. All righty. So we got the 240 now. This is the, uh, I think it's the third easy, third hardest hole. It's the third hardest. I don't, I'm not sure. All right. So we're going to tee off here. So par three for Ernie Els. Els with a five and a par three. That's going to be no adjustment. And a 186 is not going to be very good. Here. He he shanked his tee shot. He didn't hit the green. And on the par four here, a 186. Yeah, he's going to pick up a bogey here on this one here. So Els, after scoring the birdie there, now will pick up the bogey four. And he will drop back to even par here. So now it's going to be Phil Mickelson. 
and he will tee off here. He's going to use a uh, he's going to use a two iron here, I believe, Mickelson. And oh, he rode that one down. That's going to be no adjustment. Oh wait, yeah, minus one. A ten is a minus one. So it's a one thirty-two and a one thirty-two here on the third hole will be good for a par. So the par three, he will get on the green and he'll two putt and he'll pick up the par here. And so he gets three, and he will remain at one under. So now Furick will tee off, trying to climb back in it. He's in last place right now. So Furick tees off with a six on the par three. That's going to be no adjustment. And a 68 here on hole number, actually hole number four is, uh, ooh, that's going to be good for a par. So just get a par here. So nice job by Furick. He taps in for three. And now Azinger now. Can he get something close to the hole, you know? And, uh. Oh, oh, yeah, thanks, thanks, John. Yeah, I'm getting close to uh, the thousand there. Uh, uh, Jucket beat me, but um, I'm getting close myself. So we'll see. Um, see if I can chip away at that and get that magical number. That'd be kind of fun. But anyway, let's get back to the game here. So Azinger now, age is gonna tee off. Paul Azinger. Oh, a 19. That's gonna be really good. So it's gonna be a minus one here. It's gonna be a 58. And oh, just missed it. Just missed it here on the uh, the par three. Uh, he'll get a par as well. So he just missed that putt, and he will tap in for par, and he'll remain at, at one. So here's where we stand right now after four holes. It's uh, Mickelson leading the way at minus one. So we'll uh, we'll let Mickelson, since he's leading, we'll let him tee off first, and here we go. And Mickelson now on 455 yards here, hole number five, and it's a par four. So Mickelson. Uh, 16. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to subtract one. So it's a 152. Oh, boy, that's still not good, though. A 152, and that's going to be a bogey. So Mickelson just didn't hit that drive very well, and he had to recover, but he'll pick up a bogey here. So he's going to fall back to even par. So uh, that'll be a 5, and he'll go to even now. And let's go to... Uh, Let's go to Azinger now, and Azinger will tee off here. So now a little bit of breathing room since Mickelson got the bogey. And a two. Ooh, this might be problems. This might be problems for Azinger. Uh, yes, it is. We're adding one to the to the score now. So that 131 becomes 141, and it still doesn't change anything, though. It's still good enough for a par. Oh, oh wait, I'm on five right now. Uh, that's still good enough for a par. So he will par this one here, and he will remain at uh, one over. All right, so now we're going to go to Furick. Furick, who's uh, not doing too well now. He's got a five, a five, and a three. He's two over, so he needs to get a birdie here. So Furick will tee off here on the par four. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, that's no adjustment, though. I thought he was in trouble. He's not, but a 179 is still very bad. <laughs> Hole number five, a 179, and he's going to bogey this one as well. So just not the day for Furek right now. He'll bogey this one. He's going to go to three over right now, and the guys are struggling here at Augusta. Ernie Els, even par right now. He's tied for the lead. Let's see what he can do here. So Els teeing off. Again, we want a nice high white die, and he got the one. So he's going to add. Oh, that would have been terrific, too. He's going to get a 28. He, let's see if he saves it, though. Let's see if he can make the save on hole number five. I needed a – oh, look at this. I need To get a birdie, I needed a 28. And when I add one to this, it's a 28. So he comes out. He hits a long putt, and he gets the bird here. And so Ernie Els has dropped back to one under here for the tournament, and he is now our leader. Again, if I'm playing this correct, I think I am. So I, uh, hopefully this is being played correctly. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is fun. This is this inside the cup game is fun. It's just too bad you couldn't do all this in the PC game. You know, I kind of had to, you know, extract it to play outside of here. But this is this is fun. Fun game inside the crease. All right, so Ernie Els will tee off here. He'll lead the way on the uh, par three, 180 yards. This is going to be a nice easy one here on the sixth hole. So just to give you an idea, we need... 29 or less to get a birdie here. So there's not a lot of birdies here. We need a 29 or less on the black die. And again, it's a 20-sided die and a 10-sided die. So I would need a 2, 9, or less and, and, and unless we have some kind of modification with the white die. So we want a nice high roll on the white die and low, low rolls on the black die. All righty. So we said it's going to be Ernie Els. Ernie Els. We're going to roll here. A 14. Okay. 
14 the par 3. That's going to be no adjustment. And a 41 is, you know, he's not going to get the birdie here on 6. He will get the par. So Ells will tap in for par here, and he'll remain at 1 under. Okay. So now it's going to be uh, Paul Azinger. Paul Azinger is 1 over. Azinger teeing off here on the par 3. And that's no adjustment either. And a 93 here will drop in, and he will pick up a par as well. So Azinger will get his his three, and he'll remain one over. Uh, let's go Mickelson now, and we'll let him tee off here. He was in the lead for a while, but uh, he uh, he fell back here to even par when he uh, he got a yeah the last hole he got the bogey. That's right. I should actually color code these so I can see them. Um, I probably could. Hang on one second here. Let me um let me do this. Let me do this. So you're probably going to end up seeing a couple of things here. Hopefully it doesn't change too much. But I could probably do that, right? So I could do my bogeys in red. Yep, how about that? Um, so yeah, I'll do my bogeys in red. So we got a bogey here. And that's even. That's a bogey. That's even. And that's a bogey. And green will be my birdies. Do I have any birdies? I do have a birdie right here. So we'll go, um, uh, no, we'll do yellow so I can see it a little bit better. So we'll go yellow. All right, so what do I got here? So that's par, par, par. This is par, par. Oh, this is birdie. Birdie, birdie. Just so we can see what the guys did here. Oh, that's terrible. That that's gonna. I don't even know what color I'm going to use on that one. That's going to be horrible. Yeah, so that's a six. That's a terrible one. Uh, three, so this will be a, uh, that'll be a bogey as well. Oh, let me just, what, what do we think? That make the scorecard look a little bit easier. So now we can see what we did here. So that's, um oh, this is a bird. So a bird we said was going to go this color. All right, so now we can see what we did here. So white is par, red is bad, yellow is good, and anything else is really bad. <laughs> so, all right, so let's continue on here. So we're going to have, uh, who's away now? I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go Mickelson. Let's go Mickelson now and see what he can do here. So Mickelson's going to roll uh, 17 on a par 3. That is good. That's going to be a minus 1. So a 33. Ooh, did he get it? Did he get the bird here? Oh, I needed a 29. So he'll just get the par here, and he'll remain at even par. So hopefully I'm doing this correctly, and he's at even par. I think everybody's looking good here. Um, yeah, he's got the bird. He's got the two over. Yeah, okay. So now Jim Furyk now, who's three over. He could really use a birdie here. Come on, Furyk. Come on, Furyk. Um, T T's off. A three is not good. And it's, uh, but it's no adjustment, though. No adjustment. Uh, and then 93, that's probably just going to be a par here. Yeah, so he'll get a par here in a six hole as well. So everybody drops in for three here at hole number six. So we're going to keep it going here. We're going to let Ells tee off because he got the three back here. So Ells will tee off here on 450 yards, par four here at number seven. So here comes Ells now. Ells with a seven, and that's going to be no adjustment. And so we look at the 86 here on hole number seven. And I need a 31 or less for a birdie, and we're just going to have to tap this one in and be quite content with a par. So Ells will get the par here, and he'll remain at one under. And he's our leader right now. And next up is going to be Paul Azinger. So, and I'm using the 2006 season, by the way. Oh, and my uh, my dice roll is in the way. I'm sorry about that because I know I changed something here. Let me just um, let me just fix this now. Let me slide this up a little bit. Drop that down. I'll get rid of this. And yeah, what do we think about that? Is that a little bit better? There we go. How about that? Yeah. Now you can see everything. Boy, I should have set this up a little bit better, right? <laughs> it's late at night. What can you do? <laughs> so hopefully that's a little bit better now Now that I get the, the ball roller out of the way. Okay, so now we'll continue on here. Yeah, that looks good now. I'm looking at my second screen. It takes a few minutes to catch up. Okay, so now we said it was going to be uh, Paul Azinger teeing off. So I'm going to tee off for him here. Uh, I don't know if I already rolled, but I'm going to roll again just to make sure. I got a four for Azinger. Uh-oh. Uh, that's going to be adding one, so that's going to be a 96. That's going to be 96. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my phone. My phone's down over here. I'm trying to view it from my phone. It's kind of hard to see. Um, streaming is kind of weird because it's not always 
what you see, you know. It's kind of like what the computer sees or whatever. Uh, so we're going to add one here. So I got a 96 now on this par 4 seventh hole. And a 96, that'll remain a par, though. So he'll get out of this with a 4. So he'll remain at 1 over here. Uh, up next, we'll go Mickelson now. So Mickelson's going to hit this one here, 450 yards. Let's see if he can hit the fairway here. Foomp. Uh, good job. Yes, he does. So we'll subtract one. That'll be a 75 here on hole number seven. And that'll be good enough for a par as well. So he'll just tap that one in nice and easy. And he'll remain at even par. And now we're going to go to uh, Furick now, who needs some magic here to happen. Furick on the four, par four here. Ooh, that might help out. Ooh, that's a minus two for Furick. Oh, but he rolled a 123. He could have made up some strokes here with that roll of the 15, but that's going to turn into a 103, and that will be, yeah, that'll just be a par for him. So everybody pars this one here. Everybody gets a four, and we play on. So I think L's is still the uh, the honors, Your Honor. And here we go. So L's will tee off here on a par five, 570. I think this is the longest hole, oh, second longest hole. The second hole is the longest. This is the second longest hole, 570 yards. This will play today. And here he goes. Whoop. There's a tee shot. Oh, it's not a good one. Not a good one by L's at all. Uh, luckily, though, there's no adjustment. There's no penalty on that one there. So let's go to the eighth hole, and let's see what he's going to do. Oh, a 90. Oh, you know, 78's a birdie. 78's a birdie. He just missed that one. So a 190. So that's going to be a par. So L's will tap that in for a par 5, and he will remain our leader now. And we're going to go to Azinger now. Paul Azinger on the par 5. Azinger with a 7. That's going to be no adjustments in 100. Ooh, let's take a look at this right here. So on the 8th uh, hole, par 5. Ooh, I need a 78. I got a 100, so he's going to par 2. So Azinger will go to 5. And there we go. Ever since we went to the color-coded chart, everybody's got pars. Did you notice that? I did. <laughs> Uh, Mickelson's going to tee off now. He'll be the third golfer. Mickelson teeing this one off. Oh, a 14 on a par 5. And he'll subtract 2 from this one, so he'll get a 77. Oh, he's going to get it. Yeah, on hole number 8, we needed a 78. And Mickelson, because he got this, we subtract 2. He got the 77. And Mickelson will tap in, and he'll get the birdie here. And, again, we got to give him our birdie color. And, yeah, he'll drop back to minus 1. So, nice job by Phil to get the birdie here on hole number 8. So, now here comes Furick again. And he's on the power 5. Furick, 8. This is not very good. There'll be no adjustment. Oh, a 76, though. Right? 76 on hole number. That will get him a birdie as well. We needed a 78. So, he's got a 76. So, he will get the birdie here. And he'll drop a stroke. And so he'll drop back to two over. So if my math is all correct, we have uh, Mickelson and Ells tied at minus one with Azinger a couple behind, and then Furick is three behind. So here we go. So now uh, we will let um, we'll let Mickelson go first. So Mickelson's in the lead, and he's going to tee off here. We got the 460 yards hole number nine. A Steeler fan shows up here at Augusta checking out some golf. As I'm playing some inside the cup, I'm trying to go hole by hole here, which you can't do in the PC game. But the, the cards are in the game, as I explained. So I just um, it took a screenshot of four of the cards, and I'm trying to play hole by hole because all the information is there to play hole by hole. It's just you got to pull it out to play it, so to speak. So, um, okay, so we said Mickelson was going to tee off, right? So I'm going to swing again because I'm not sure if I already swung for him. So he's going to tee off here first. So Mickelson is going to be a uh, par four. Oh, that's not good for Mickelson. It's not going to be penalized, though, but a 187 here on hole number 9 is not going to be good. Uh, no, he's going to bogey this one here. So Mickelson, he sliced off into the woods, and he fought his way back on. So uh, 172 or less would have got him the par, but he's going to pick up the bogey here. So we'll get a 5. Let's give him the red box for the bogey, and he's going to drop back to even par here. And that's where Mickelson will stay. In fact, I'm going to... Save this just to make sure I save it. All right, so now up was uh, Jim Furyk now. Jim Furyk, another birdie here. He can cut this lead down a little bit. So Furyk tees off here on the par four. Furyk with a 17. Yes, we're going to subtract two. 
So Furyk's going to subtract two off oh, of 197. Are you kidding me, Furyk? So he gets a 177 here on the ninth hole, and he just misses getting a par, and he will bogey this one. So a big-time bogey for Furyk here. So he'll pick up the five as well. So this has not been a kind hole so far. So he's now three over for the day. Uh, Ernie Els is up right now. So here comes Els teeing up the... This difficult par four here. Yeah, this is one of the more difficult holes, I think, here. This this ninth hole right here. So we're looking for a 172 to get a par here. And so far, we haven't got one. I need a 172 on the black die. All right, so we're rolling here. And this is going to be, we said it was uh, L's. And L's with a 13. And it's going to be a minus one and another high roll. Wowzers. So that's a 181. And he's going to bogey as well here on number nine. So, everyone bogey, and it's like bogey city here. So, it's going to be up to Paul Azender. He could tie for the lead if he just gets a par. That's all he's got to do here. So, let's get this going. All right, Azender now. Uh, we need a we need a 17 to 20 if we want to get any adjustment. Or, a, no, 13 or higher. 13 or higher. Got it. He got the 19. So on the par four, we will adjust this by minus one, but another 197, and that's going to be a bogey too. Yep, we need. Yeah, he, he got the roll he needed, but the black die is just too high, so he will he will get a bogey. So everyone gets a bogey here. Everyone goes to the back of the line, and so he'll be two over now. Oh boy! So that's what we got right now. Is uh, Ernie L's in the lead with a minus one. And the honors will go to uh, Mickelson, who's going to tee off first because these guys are all tied here. So Mickelson will go first. All righty. Uh, oh, you start moving, John. Oh, mo moving's fun, but it, it's also not fun all at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so we said uh, L's was teeing off, right? Yeah, L's, yeah, five. No, I'm sorry. It's gonna be it's gonna be Mickelson again because we we go back to the last hole. So Mickelson will tee off. Mickelson on the par four. This one's almost five hundred yards and it's a par four. Holy smoke! This is a long hole, and this is uh, rank number six if you're keeping score at home. So Mickelson, teeing off here on number ten as we hit the back nine. Mickelson on the par four. Ooh, that's a good roll right there, and we will subtract one. And it's going to be a 145. So on hole number 10, a 145. And he will get the par on this. Birdie's going to be impossible. You need a 28 to get a birdie on this one. So, um, yeah, 145 is good. If this if this was not adjusted, he would have got a bogey. He's going to get the par. So Mickelson will tap in for par here. And he will be very happy with that. This is a difficult hole. Jim Furyk is up now. Furyk's not having a good round. Furyk, an 11 on the par 4. Uh, he will subtract one, but it's another high roll. So it's a 151 here. And, oh, he will get the par, though. Nice job by Furyk just to tap in. So Furyk saves face and will get the par here on hole number 10. Now we go up to, it's going to be Ernie Els. Els is in the lead, and he's going to tee off here. Els is going to get a 13 on the par four. That's going to good for a minus one. Oh, no, look at this. Look at this, a 33. You want low black dice roll. So we're going to subtract two. We're subtracting two. Holy cow, we're subtracting two from that. He's got a 13. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hole number nine. Oh, he just missed. He's going to get a birdie. He's going to get a birdie here on, um, yeah, he's going to get the birdie here on hole number 10. We needed 28 or less, and we subtract from that 33 to get a 13. Wow. So a birdie for Ernie Els here on this long, long par four. And Els will go to minus two. Let's give him the, the birdie color. There it is. So he gets the bird. And he is now in command. Azinger steps up to the tee. And Azinger, he's going to tee this one off here. A 14. That's good. That's good. He'll get a minus one. Oh, look at this. And a 12. He'll get the birdie too. He will get the birdie here. We need a 28 or less, so he didn't even need help. And Azinger here on the 10th hole, he will get the birdie as well. So let's give him the three, and he'll come down to one right now. Let's give him the birdie color, and there we go. So we had a couple of birds in this hole. Nice job by these guys here. And uh, now let's go to hole 
Number 11, 505, another long par four. And this time it's going to be Ernie Els teeing off. So Els will lead us off here on the 11th. Els on the par four. Ooh, that's not going to be good. We're going to be adding one to one, 145 here. That's not going to be good at all. He's going to bogey this one. He was doing so well. But we get to the 11th hole. And this was the, uh, I don't know if this is the easiest or the hardest hole. I don't know how, I don't know how the ranks go. But on a... Yeah, on a 135, on a 145, that's going to be a bogey for Els. So Els is going to roll the five, and he will fall back to minus one, and he gets the big red box. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Take care, Dave. We'll be talking later this week. Hope things are good. So the race tightens up here. It really does. The race tightens up. So we're going to... Um, Who's up next here? We're going to go to Paul Asinger now. Asinger, he's off. Asinger and 12. That's not too bad. There's going to be no adjustment on the par 4. And a 154 on hole 11. 154. Oh, he's going to bogey as well. We need that 131. So he's going to bogey out here. So Asinger, he'll pick up the 5 as well. We give him the red box. And he now moves to 2 over par. So the last half of Augusta is not doing well here. Uh, we're going to go Mickelson now. Mickelson tees off. Mickelson, oh, at a 15. Yeah, that'll get him minus one. Oh, but a 202. It's a 192. That's terrible. That is terrible. A 192. Ooh, he almost double bogey, but he will single bogey as well, thanks to this roll of a 15. So he will single bogey. So everyone picking up fives here, and he will go to one over on the little tournament here. So now it's going to be Furick. Uh, let, let's see. Uh... Furick, I think it should be a four. He got a par. Did did Furick get a par? Okay, yeah. All right, my bad. So if he got the four here, maybe I just wrote it wrong. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry, four. So he's still um. So he's still three over though. Yeah, okay. So I just put in the wrong number. Is what I did here. Thanks. Right, so I put in the wrong number, but he's still three over because he's got. Uh, one th these cancel out, so he's got the three bogeys. So okay, so I just put in the wrong number. Okay, thanks. Thanks for catching that, but um. Yeah, okay, good. So it's three over. All right, so now he's going to tee off here at the 11th. A chance to gain some ground. A 20 and one. No, that's not good, though. The 113 is not good. Not good at all. But a 20 here and a par four for Furick, and that'll get him to subtract two. So that'll be a 93 here on my chart. So instead of 113, it's a 93. I go to hole 11, and that's going to be good for a par. So yeah, at least he gets out of it with a par this time. So so he'll lead the way. He'll stay at three over. And I think everything looks good here. And we shall continue on. And Furick will tee off here on the 12th. This is a par three here, 155. This is the shortest hole on the course so let's get him going here let's see if he can snug this up and tap in for a bird okay now for a bird here on hole 12 we need a, a 32 it's going to be difficult we need a 32 or less on the black die and furick will tee this one off and a 20 again and he'll minus three but it's a 121 so it's a 91 so i think that's going to be a par so on hole number 12, yeah, that would be a par. Again, we needed 32 or less. Even though he, he subtracted a whole bunch from that roll, it's still going to be a par. So he'll tap in, he'll take his par, and he'll be a happy boy. All right, so now up at the, uh, at the I was going to say at the plate, it's going to be, um, we'll go Ernie Els right now. Els is going to tee off. Els with a 20 as well. So Els will subtract one. Oh, he's got an 18. He's got an 18 because that's 28 minus 10. Minus, minus this one here, so it's an 18. So hole number 12, and he gets the bird. So Ernie Els beats the 32. He gets the bird. So he'll tap in for two right here, and he will now go to minus two. And we'll, let's give him the nice birdie color here. There we go. And so Ernie Els with a terrific, terrific shot off the tee and tap in, and he leads the pack. Azinger now on the par three, 155 yards. Azinger, ooh, ooh, uh-oh, we're adding 193. This could be disaster. This could be disaster here at the 12th. Oh, no, he's going to end up with a bogey. Luckily, he almost he almost double bogeyed, but he got the single bogey. So, Azinger will pick up the four, and he will go to three over right now, and he's going to get the big red box. Bummer, dude. And he got the, remember, he got the double bogey back here, back here on four. 
So he's not having a good day at all. So he's three over. So here we go. Um, and now it's going to be Mickelson. He's one over for the day. Mickelson, a two. That's not good. We're going to be adding one to the 47 to give us a 57. And on hole 12, that really doesn't matter. He'll just pick up a par on that one. So he'll stay right where he is. So with the uh, nice little birdie putt there, Ernie Els leads the pack. He's minus two right now. And he will tee things off here on the par five. 510 yards, another long hole. And... Uh, he'll get things off here. So it's going to be Ernie Ells. Ells on the par 5. It's going to be no adjustment and a 43. Oh, that's good. Low rolls are good. So let's go to hole number 13. And he will pick up the birdie. So a 104 or less gets you the birdie here. You can actually get an eagle on this hole if you get a 17. So on hole number 13, a 43 is good for a bird for Ernie Els. So he continues to play savage golf right now. He's a minus three here. Looking good, Mr. Earn. And he gets the birdie right there. <laughs> that beer hurt him. Yeah, they went to the clubhouse after nine, and things just, just went sour, yeah. <laughs> Uh, who's up now? So it's going to be, uh, it's, uh, Jim Furyk's up now. Jim Furyk will tee off here on the par five. Oh, uh, Furyk, a 16 is good. So we'll subtract one. That'll give him a 74 here on hole 13. And a 74 is good for a birdie. All right. Nice job there. So Jim Furyk will pick up the bird. And he'll drop down to two over. And we'll give him the nice birdie color. There we go. So we got two birdies here so far on 13. And up next will be Mickelson. Mickelson at one over on the par five. Mickelson at eight. That is no adjustment. Oh, 149. That's not going to be very good. That'll get him a par, though. So he'll come out of the par five with a five, and he'll remain at one over, still within reach of the lead. But time is running out as Ernie Els is just catching fire here on the back nine. Uh, Azinger goes now on the par five. Azinger with a 16, and that'll be no adjustment. And a, oh, no, oh, no, disaster, the 209. That is absolute disaster here. Let's go to the 13th hole, and Paul Azinger has found, I don't know if there's water or what there is, but he found something. He's in all kinds of hurt, and he gets an other. He gets a triple bogey here with the 209. And luckily, if this yellow die was a zero, it would have been a quadruple bogey, and then we have to roll again. But he's going to get the 209, the worst roll in the game, and there's no adjustment on this, so he is going to get a triple bogey. He's going to get the snowman. Wow. So he gets the snowman and triple bogey, and he's now six over, and you can say goodbye. So he's got a six, and he's got an eight, and that is just just terrible. Yep. So say goodbye to Mr. Azinger. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he had more than a beer. I don't know, but it hasn't been a good day for him. So let's go to, uh, okay, so it's going to be Ernie Els, the leader. He will tee off here first at 14. We've got a 440-yard par 4. So Els will, will kick us off here. Uh-oh. We're going to be, oh, a 189. That is not good. A 189 on hole number 14, and that is going to be a bogey. And this is a possible eagle hole, by the, well, by the way, too. If you get the lowest roll in the game, if you get a 10, you get an eagle. So he's going to get a 204. A less than 204 is going to be a bogey. Bummer. So Ernie Els will pick up the 5, and he'll drop back to minus 2 on this one here. And he gets the red box. You don't want the red box. You don't want the red box. You got the snowman, yep. In fact, there was a guy that played in our roller hockey league that would went golfing with us, and he would always get an eight. And that, we think he was even lying about that, you know. So we just thought, we thought he goes snowman. So we, we ended up calling him Frosty. To this day, like 10 years later, his nickname is Frosty because he kept getting snowmans in golf. And I said, you're like Frosty the snowman. And he, Frosty just stuck. True story. True story. Uh, Jim Furyk now. Two over. He's going to tee off here on the par four. Furyk. Ooh, that's a good one there. 12. We'll subtract one from the 68 and give it a 58. So let's go to hole number 14. And, oh, he just missed the birdie. So he will pick up the par, and he will be very happy to pick up this par here on 14. 
And, yeah, it's not, Aiden just going last because he got the eight. So Mickelson will tee off here on 14. Mickelson, uh-oh. Uh, no adjustment, though. He'll pick up the 78. I'm pretty sure that'll be a par. Yep, he's going to get a par. So Mickelson gets the four. He gets the par. He'll stay at one over. And now the disaster, the master of disaster, Paul Aisinger. Let's see what he <laughs> And, you know, at this point, he might as well just hit the clubhouse, right? Just get the clubhouse and, you know, get some uh, some some hot dogs and some chips or something, whatever they offer there, because he's, he's, he's out of this there. Even if you ho- I don't even think you can hold a one on this game. Uh, you, you could on a pot of three, I guess, but you'd have to roll something crazy. All right, so he's going to roll here in a, a six for Azinger on a four. That's not going to be any adjustment at all. And a 109, I think that's just going to be a par. Yeah, that'll be a par here on 14. So at least he gets the par. He saves face. He saves a par. And here we go. So it's going to be, um, who's going to get it this time? It's going to be Jim Furyk. Furyk will tee off here. I try to do it the golf away. So Furyk tees off here on 15, par 5. Ooh, Furyk with a 19. So he's going to subtract two. Oh, he's going to get a 25. This could be good. On hole number 15, a 25. Oh, just missed the eagle. He'll get a birdie here. So a nice bird here for Furyk. And he will get the four, and he will drop to one over. So he's slowly, slowly we turn. He's slowly making some improvements with a couple of birdies down here while everyone else is bogeying. So, hmm, yeah, here we go. Uh, who's up now? It's going to be Mickelson's up now. Phil Mickelson teeing off here on the par five. Mickelson, oh, 14, and that'll be good for minus two. So he'll get a 116 here on the 15th hole, and a 116 is good for a par. So Mickelson will just tap in, take his par, and he will remain uh, three shots behind Ernie Els. And it's going to be, this time it's going to be Azinger teeing off here with a four. So Azinger. Is this correct? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, I might, I might have screwed up here. So he's got one, two, three, four, five birdies. One, two, three, four. So I think he's minus one. I think he's minus one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so he'd be minus one if I'm not, if I'm correct. So we got a tight race going on here. Uh, he's got one, two, three, four. One, two, three. He's he's one over. Yeah, he's got one more birdie than he does that. And this guy here is a disaster. I don't even care. And Mickelson, uh, yeah, he would be one over. Okay, so I think I had that wrong. All right, so here we go now. So it's going to be um, Azinger now. Right, Azinger's going to be teeing off. He got the four. So let's go Azinger now. And a nine for Paul. It's no adjustment. A 64. That might be pretty good, though. Here on 15. And, yeah, he'll get the bird. So he's not, he's not giving up yet. He'll get the bird. Yes, he'll get the four as well, Azinger. And he'll come back to five over. It's too bad he had that disaster there. And so now it's going to be Ernie Els, who's leading the pack, but he did pick up the birdie on the last hole. So let's see if we can do this here. Hopefully my math is correct. It'll, it'll come out at the end when I find out what the total is. So I'll find out if I made any mistakes. But I think that's the overall running score. And Ernie Els teeing off here. A 15 is very good here on a par five. And that will be good enough for a minus two. And a 124, so that might get him a par here. That might get him a par. It does. So that'll get him a par. This high rolls are not good on the black die. So he's going to get a five, and he'll remain in the lead here. So let's go to hole number 16. We're coming down, sweet 16. Three holes to go. And who's teeing off first here? It will be... Looks like Furyk's teeing off first. So Furyk will hit this one first. Jim Furyk, a 7 on the par 3. No adjustment. A 114 is probably not going to be that good. And that would be a just a par here. There is a chance for a hole-in-one if you get a 10. you got to get the best roll in the game to get a hole-in-one. So he gets a 114, so he will par this out here with a 3. And he will stay at 1 over par. Uh, it's going to be Paul Azinger now. He needs that He needs that 10. He needs a 10. Oh, you got a 110. <laughs> Oh, well. Uh, so a 17 for Asner on a par 3. So we'll, we'll subtract 1. So that'll come down to an even 100, a cool 100. And he'll pick up a par in this one here. So he'll pick up a par here. And he will stay at oops, he'll stay at 5 over. And up next will be Mickelson. Mickelson. like to try to get the 2 here. 
and a 7. So par 3 is no adjustment, a 134, and he'll just pick up a par as well. So everybody paring here on 16. Els is the leader. He will tee off last. And he's the last guy to get a, a bogey as well. So let's tee off here. It's going to be L's now. Oh, an 18. That's good. Oh, and a 40 is good too. So an 18 on a par 3. It will be a minus 1 for L. So it's a 30. And he will get the birdie here on 16. The only guy to get the birdie. So a nice job by L's. He, he'll tap that putt in, pick up the bird, and now he's minus 2 if I'm... If everything's done correctly, yeah, because he's got one, two, three, four, five, six birdies. One, two, three, four, so that's a minus two. My math is right. So Els continuing to lead the pack here with just two holes to play, and he will lead us off here on 17. It's a 4, 440-yard four, par 4. And uh, there's no adjustment here, or is there? Uh, yes, he's going to add one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this could be disaster here at 17. Is he going to fall apart, folks? Is he going to fall apart? He got a 154 here on 17. Oh, no, he doesn't. He recovers, and he picks up the par. So Ernie L somehow avoids disaster and gets that on the green and gets up and down in two, and he saves the par. And now it's going to be Jim Furyk up now. Jim Furyk teeing off here on 17. Furyk with a six. I don't think that's any adjustment. Uh, no adjustment, and he rolls a 204. Oh, boy, Furyk is in trouble. He is in trouble. He's in the rough over here at 17. And let's see what a 204 is going to give him. He's going to bogey this one there. Boy, he almost had disaster, but Furyk will bogey here. He'll get the five. He'll go to two over, and he gets the nasty little red box that says, I got a bogey. Oh, boy. So it's still Els' game right now. And teeing off next will be Azinger. Please, as he's kind of finishing up, he's being a good guy. He's just going to finish things up here. So Azinger will add one to his 81 to give us a 91 here at 17, and he will pick up a par. So he'll be okay with that. Like, okay, that's good. Par's okay. And now Mickelson. Can Mickelson make something happen? Do we have any Mick magic here? He needs to make up three strokes. Does he got any Mick magic left in that jar? A 13 here in a par 4. Okay, so that's a minus 1, but a 172 is terrible. So that 162, there's no magic. He will pick up a bogey on this one there. So Mickelson's going to bogey here with a 5. He's not happy with himself. He goes to 2 over, and he will get the red box as well. They lost, uh, they, they lost uh, four games in a row. What a bummer. Um, Al's Red, Al Red Sox fan, he's, um, he's, he's hanging on that vacation as long as he can. Good for you, Al. I would too. Um, and I got just one hole to go, but it looks like it's going to be Ernie Els is going to take this one here. He'll tee off first because he has the honors. So Els will tee off here. Let's see what he can do. And I think if he gets a par here, he will win a any, anything but a disaster. So Els on 18. It's a par four, 465 yards. Ernie Els teeing off. Els, a two, uh-oh, uh-oh. This could be trouble, but the 35 and the black dice will save him. So we will add one to the 35 to make that a 45 here on 18. And a 40, oh, he would have had a birdie had, had he not rolled so low. But he will pick up the par. So Ernie Els will get the par here, four. And so he will finish 70. He is two under. And I think he shall take our tournament here. So we're going to go now to Paul Azinger, who is five over. Azinger, uh, he will get, okay, he'll subtract one. He'll get a 99 here, and that'll be good enough for a par as well. So Azinger will get a four here. He'll finish five over for the day. And wrapping up, uh, it's going to be Furyk now. Furyk is two over. Furyk with a 14 and a 118. 118 is not good. That's not good. Uh, we need low dice on the black. So Furyk. A 14 will get him a, what's going to be a minus 2. So it gets, that gets him a 98 on the black die. And that's good enough for a pass. So Furyk will tap in. He'll get his par. He'll finish 2 over. And Mickelson now, he needs to make up 4 shots. And that's nearly impossible. So we'll roll the dice. He gave it a good go, though. He got the 19 on the par 4. So we'll subtract. That's a 52. Uh, he doesn't get the birdie, though. He just gets the par as well. So everybody pars out here on 18. And that's... 
that's the story here, folks. So a little bit inside the cup. So Ernie Els shoots a 70 here at Augusta National, and he goes minus two. Um, both Furick and Mickelson will shoot a 74, and they will tie it at two overall. And then poor Azinger, who shot a six and also a snowman. <laughs> he comes up with a positive five. So uh, that's that. So let me uh, kill my dice roller here. Come back into uh, Studio B and uh, say hi and good night to everybody. Hey, thanks for tuning in. So that that was kind of fun. Again, you know, what I did is um, is I, I took the uh, Inside the Crease PC game, and the cards are in the game. You know, if you click on the player, it shows the card. So I just screen captured and printed out a couple of cards so I could play hole by hole because it doesn't allow you to play hole by hole in the game. And I wanted to try something different. Um, so um, so I played hole by hole. It was fun. It, w it was fun. I again, I don't know how good the um, the numbers are. You know, I, I know that, you know, some of these, these are the better guys, at least guys that I know. Um, so I don't think it was too far out of line. We had a couple of disastrous holes for Azinger. Um, but the, the other guys were writing line, and um, I think it's okay. I, I, I think um, I think this game is fun, and um, the PC version is fun, and um, and, and the cards and dice is, is fun too. So, um, again, the, but it's, it's not quite as flexible in the PC game. You can only play shot by shot. You can't play round. You can play round by round, but you've got to simulate the whole tournament, and you just sit there and click. It's just not that fun. The shot by shot is fun. Shot by shot is fun. If they could combine them all so you could do them all in the PC game, then that would be even even better. But, uh, yeah, inside sports games have been kind of fun. I've enjoyed the golf. Uh, I, I very much enjoy the hockey, and I just ordered the tennis. So I'll be getting some tennis going here on the channel as well. So inside volley, it's called. So we'll get some inside volley going here. So we'll, we'll get the summer stuff going. I know I've been doing a lot of hockey, but the summer stuff is coming out with the golf and the tennis the golf and tennis club that's what we're going to do but anyway hey thanks for um, tuning out this was kind of more of a um just a a test to see how it would look how it would how it would, would stream and the whole bit and um i think it's kind of fun i think that uh, this is a fun game and i definitely will do this again um try to pick a maybe a little bit bigger project here although this was an hour it took me about an hour chit chatting away here to play four four golfers in in, in 18 holes um, but I'll probably pick up the pace. It was my first time actually doing this as well. So it was kind of, um, going into this kind of blind, but anyway, Hey, I'm Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Al, I hope you, you had a good vacation. I know you did a lot of streaming, so you had some fun. Uh, I hope you and Nurse Teresa at least got to have some fun on vacation and everybody else. I'm heading back to work. Be safe. I hope you have a good week. I hope we'll be in touch. Uh, Al and Ron will have game two of our hockey playoffs coming up. Uh, Ron will be doing the Montreal Flyers game and Al will be doing the Bruins and the Islanders. And uh, and we'll get those game twos done this week, and then um yeah we'll see what else comes up on the channel. I've been trying some new games and some new new fun things like this here, uh, and so we'll, hopefully we'll have more going here. As I got a couple games I that I have that I haven't shown yet, and I want to show those off as well. So we'll talk to everybody later. Have a good night. Thank you so much, uh, John. Thanks so much for that. I I tried to I, I screwed, <laughs> screwed up the spreadsheet a little bit. Uh, but, you know, again, this is my first try at, at streaming this particular game. So I think it went pretty well. So we'll talk to everybody later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.